All right, guys, let's have a look at the van today. Does it look different? Does it look the same? Well, we got a bit of solar down here. A motorcycle. Ah, it's not quite the same. This is a different van. This is not mine. The gentleman that owns this vehicle is from Quebec. His name's Eric from Quebec. He's got the same van as I do. Let's have a look at this, guys. I've got to back up. <laughs> Slight different year. He's got a 1997 and I have a 95. Looks like a couple of twins there. His unit here, guys. Let's go have a look. I like his uh, entrance way here. It's a little bit different than mine. And I don't think I wanna, it looks like his cabinet was not connected to the door in the first place. This is the uh, passenger seat and the driver's seat. But his bed is exactly the same as mine on that side, uh, on the street side. And the windows, he's got a TV there. Um, now, my stove, it, it, this is where his fridge is, and I took my three-way fridge out. He still has his. It says it works great. Uh, he had a coffee maker in the microwave, just like mine did, except on the other side. Uh, the the uh, vent, the hood vent, with all the details on there. Um, cabinets up here, slight bit different. Uh, the ceiling fa uh, light is the same as mine. Um, he has a sink here with uh, storage down in the bottom. And we'll get to talk to Eric uh, a little bit later here when he uh, finishes his shower. Uh, he uses his toilet and shower, which is amazing. I don't, but um, I ha mine is just storage. But uh, I just got to show you this here. Uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to read this, but... Uh, This is the true meaning of life, guys. And it's by the 14th Dalai Lama. His Holiness, 14th Dalai Lama. And the uh, awning, same as mine. Love his uh, curtains on his doors. Mine aren't like this. I'm going to have to take mine. You can pull that down. And it's still kind of, uh, you can see through it. Then you can also pull down, let me just see how this works. The one that you can't see through. Look at that. I've got to get these. Oh man, and he made those very nice, tight. Very nice and tight. Yes. You pay, play a fiddle on there. So once Eric finishes what he's doing there, I brought him out to a shower place, showed him where to get a nice hot shower. Um, it was something I had to share. And uh, let's look at these two beautiful vehicles here. Incredible, guys. And notice the step on the front. No license plate on the front. Same as Alberta. Quebec has no license on the front. But this is an actual step. You fold this down, pull the step out. I need two hands for this. There, guys, there's a step. You can step on there, get up and wash your windows. All right, guys, I was talking about another van. Looks exactly like mine. Uh, 1997 instead of a 95 and uh, Eric is the proud owner of this one hi, hi guys uh, he doesn't mind being on YouTube so we're good for that <laughs> okay Eric I got a couple of questions for you I'm all ears my friend are you a full-time van dweller or no. part-time or it's, I'm a part-time van dweller in fact I'm on a like a long long-term 
away from work, like a kind of sabbatical. Um, and so I've been in my truck since last summer. All right. And uh, where do you where do you originate from? I am from Montreal, Quebec. Oh, Montreal, yeah. I yeah. didn't know that. Montreal, Quebec. Right on. Yes. And he's in Vancouver and... Uh, Escaped winter. <laughs> it's been all over the island. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, and um, does what? What do you do on the with the uh, kite? I kite surf. Kite I'm surf. I'm a kite surfer. Yes. And Tofino mm -hmm. was probably great for that. It was good. They do surfing there. Victoria as well. Victoria surprisingly as well? is oh, like wow. even better than Tofino. Yeah. And Nanaimo, probably yeah. Uh, a little bit north of Nanaimo, Comox is another beautiful destination to uh, to kite surf. Okay. Uh, weirdly, they get the same winds. Uh, I should do that, maybe. <laughs> they get in, inland in Comox, right bef beside the uh, the mainland. They get the same current, uh, just just toned down a little bit than what Tofino gets. Tofino gets stormy weather, and inside Comox gets the same wind, ah. just a little bit more civilized. <laughs> right. Mm. Okay. It's a beautiful so... place to to ride and. Um, yeah, uh, everything's available on internet if you want to look at it uh, for the kite surfing spots. Okay. I, I I didn't know, so I just um, the web. you you were talking. You said you don't have a YouTube channel, but you have a, a Facebook. Yeah. Uh, do you know your 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 channel name or how people can get a hold of you? Yeah, they're... absolutely. Uh, uh, it's it's in French, and it's uh, uh, on saw with a comma, mettez combien, meaning. Let's get outside and put our long johns on. <laughs> <laughs> That's the title of the channel. On sol, comma, mettez combien. Okay, I'll yeah. put that in the link below there when we can, cool. when I get cool. it all figured out, so cool. we can go have a look at you and sure and sure. Uh, meet up with you. Sure, it'd be, it'll be a pleasure. Yeah. 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 It's like a logbook, so you'll see from the very beginning, almost when I acquired the van, all the works I did on it, like uh, the sanding of the lights, everything is detailed on there. Uh, step by step, and then the different tr trips that I, I I made since last summer. Yeah. Okay, right on. Okay, um, obviously this van is almost like mine on the inside, just slight bit different. That the bed is on the same side as mine. Sorry about the mess. <laughs> uh, uh, it's not really mess. If you, it's not messy, you haven't lived in it. You know, it's it's uh, if you're living in it, you got to have a little bit of mess and clutter and stuff. Um, he has a toilet and shower like I do. I don't use mine. He uses his. I've got to start using mine and take a nice warm shower in mine. I can do that. Uh, let me just see. It, it's a little bit different. You've got the white color instead of the kind of the wood grain things that I have. I did. I did redo all the cupboards, uh, just the doors and the ins the, the the inside of the cupboards. Uh, they're still the the stock ones. I just took them off and refreshed. Uh, the look with uh, an exterior paint, a good primer, change the handles and the hinge hinges, and it did help with the the the, the smell that kind of accumulates over th over time, which is normal, like humidity, yeah. food smell, cooking smell. So by by repainting the doors, it really like s reset the the camper, and now it's my my smell, if I could say <laughs> that's in it. This yeah. is this is you. Is there anything you want to talk about your van or? Uh... Um, I was super lucky to that van kind of crossed my path. I wasn't in the market that much to shop around. Uh, I didn't know the values of the vans. I didn't. I was just thinking about a retirement plan. Uh, since I'm a kite surfer, I travel a lot. I'm looking for spots to to kite surf or to snow kite because you can also do that sport in the winter. Oh, wow. uh, you can basically. It's an all season sport and. Uh, it would fit my lifestyle. So I was just telling a friend that I was thinking about this for a retirement plan. And what do you know? Sometimes your your thought process can create magical things and everything fell into place. Uh, her mother was selling this beautiful van. Uh, she was the second owner. Uh, she bought it in the States. So it was immaculate. That truck never seen winter. Uh, <laughs> so I just asked for the model, come some pictures to get an idea. And when I saw the market value of this van, it was a bargain. I jumped on the uh, on the occasion, and then I got fear. Fear came into play. Like <laughs> it's an old truck, and you might you might hit a wall in terms of repairs and condition and stuff. 
but yeah. I followed my heart. Like the feeling was good. I went for it. Yes, I did put some money on the transmission, the engine. I, you know, I refreshed like you did, spark plugs, wiring, stuff like that. The most you can do yourself, the better it's gonna be. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and then and then I went I went crazy like. Uh, Change the cupboards, refresh the look. Uh, uh, basically, every system I, I I went on the net, looked how it worked. Like I I cleaned my fridge, the the, the operation side, like how the fridge works, not the inside. Obviously, right. I did the inside, but you know the the fridge now is super peppy. It can freeze food no problem, <laughs> and it's the original fridge. So it's just a matter of you know cleaning things up, refreshing them. Uh, everything's available on the net, so it's a matter of just taking the time, studying the the product or or the the the, the machine itself. They're all independent systems, like the water heater, and then your heater, central heating, and and then the fridge. And so step by step, I got to know the truck and refreshed every system. Took the time to open them up, clean them up, and 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 wow. Knock on wood. I mean, everything works. Everything, everything works. is original. Um, I did solidify the platform there because that's where I put all my stuff. And 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 yeah, just a, a pole there, an aluminum pole. I called this uh, earlier. I thought this is a, one of those dance poles. Yeah. The, the women go. Out, <laughs> I, I says. I said on here. No, guys, that's not for that. that that's... <laughs> It's the, yeah, and and it's basically just to 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 give me reassurance because there's a lot of gear over there. Yeah, I've got my kites, and it's my right boards. above your head when you're. Yeah, dying. that's it. It's above my head, and it's and it's holding. If you can film, like it's holding, like it's even barely the oh. thickness of a finger. Yeah, wow. You know, so uh, it, it it was designed back in the day, I guess, to sleep uh, children maximum around a hundred pounds. It did help a lot. But for the community out there, I mean, don't expect to uh, have the same performance as a, a house in a van. Right. You cannot, you cannot isolate yourself with four inches of material thinking that minus 20 degrees outside and then 20 degrees inside <laughs> is not going to create a thermal shock. For sure, you're going to have condensation inside, no matter the age of your truck. Vent out. Make sure a vent is always open and still I get condensation, no matter what. And you can't fight that, except right. try to find calmer weather. For instance, uh, 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 the dishes, you know, tips and tricks. Some people spray wash, <laughs> you know, just spray wash instead of using the full tub because that's a lot of water. You start calculating, right? Or, 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 or to to keep your 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 house warm at night, is that a necessity? Because once you're under the covers, that's right. You're comfortable. You don't feel the cold anyway. No, that's so. it. So why use your gas and use and and I tested it out, and the first it was a revelation, you know. <laughs> but it's because of another van life where he goes, oh, I never, I never heat up the truck at night. I go, oh, you for real? I was I was staying safe, you know keeping it at the minimum but i was waking up in the morning with either a dead battery or i've used a lot of propane yeah so hey when you get out of your your comfort zone a little bit and and and, and you, you realize it works you know and and since then at night, i do warm the truck up during dinner and setting up the bed but after that everything's off and we'll restart that in the morning and i did that on nights of up to minus six minus eight degrees oh, wow. woke up in the morning in a truck of course that was around 10 degrees but i mean yes your nose is cold you <laughs> just restart everything boom boom uh maybe start the truck for a few minutes and then you're good you know the the the, the, the your comfort level is back and in terms of what you really need in life and like we were discussing previously, you guys didn't hear that, but we had beautiful conversations, me and Wayne, about the less you have, the happier you are. Right. And I really hope that everyone watching this and our friends and family will will pitch in and, 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 and tune in that knowledge. The, you don't need three TVs. You don't, the, le the less you have, the happier you are. And this is an ultimate truth. The beauty is... I can 
get up in the morning, open my doors, and what do you know? The ocean is right there. there you, you can't go. do that in my house. Yeah. In a in yeah. a house. Yeah. And so <laughs> you change the environment, but your house follows you everywhere. And once yeah. once you ch you close your curtains, it's nighttime. You look around, you're home. <laughs> and what and you get that surprise the next morning. You open your door. You're in a different setting. You're like, okay, that's that's my lawn. That's my yard for the for the morning. And you meet wonderful people throughout the journey right on uh, yeah, quite different people oh yeah from 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 all sources you know you meet people that have a worse van than you uh they live in a minivan i i've seen some people living in cars you know with a little wood stove in the back and miniature tight space <laughs> so it put it put things in perspective uh and it was powerful lessons too and and some people get the A-class buses, but they can't travel necessarily everywhere. Everywhere. The little B-class can go. Yeah. So the B-class is, well. is a little gem. Just because I was in the parking lot and I saw your truck and I was like, oh, nice, like a truck like mine. I could have just carried on. Right. But I decided, nope, I'm going to park and take a picture. Park, take a picture. Oh, I get a good signal, call a friend. And while I'm on the phone with my friend, you arrived. And, oh, nice truck. Like, yeah. And we chatted for a few seconds. And I said, yeah, I took a picture of your truck. And, da, 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 da. and what do you know? Things kind of dominoed. Like yeah. a domino effect. Pop, 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 pop. Right. Like the butterfly effect. Because I stopped. I took a picture. Then we had a chat. You showed me a nice place where there was good Wi-Fi. You shared a good, a, a nice little treasure that you knew a place where I could have a nice warm shower for free. Uh, so you see, uh, that's part of the van life also, and we need to share that with the people listening. They're going to take some meaning from this. Absolutely. You know, they're, Absolutely. they're all my family, um, and they're part of your family now. Thank you. So Thank you're you part of their family. Thank you for welcoming me uh, to, <laughs> to, to, to your family. And, so. and, 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 and understand, understand that, that lifestyle also can be, uh, um, um, copied in all our regular lifestyles, either you're, you're a van lifer full-time, part-time, or just thinking about it. Right. Also with your coworkers, in your day-to-day -day routine, even if you're not a van dweller, that can be copied or, 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 or trend, tra transferred to, to, to you. Like, get out there. I know it's hard times right now. It's, I know it's COVID, but go for a walk chat with with strangers and be amazed at how everybody needs to connect and it's either through beautiful videos like this uh about our lifestyles but also just about life in general right. and and yes we're van lifers but we're also humans and, and 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 by sharing tips and tricks and connecting we're changing the world right on great advice great yeah. advice yeah that's what we're all about yeah. So I know it's COVID time, but let me shake your hand, Eric. Thank you for being my brother, my, pleasure, my friend. Brother. My pleasure. And uh, my pleasure. I want to thank you for the interview. Uh, it was a great one of the best it ones I've had. It is my pleasure. If I could give just one on, another another advice, guys, be outlaws <laughs> and shake hands. Give yourself a hug. Stay close. Stay clean. Wash your hands. Wear your mask. But a nice hug does make a difference a handshake <laughs> does make a difference that's how we connect we need to touch each, each other be safe of course stay clean but don't hesitate to reach out right we on. need to connect people and that's what i needed on this trip i found tons of people to 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 hang out with exchange beautiful stories open heart uh, uh conversations about real stuff and yeah the COVID is a hard time, but it's the flips the, the the flip side of it, the beautiful side of it is that we're realizing that we need to connect. So feed on that and yeah. Right I on. just I wish you <laughs> to connect with people and, and, and to live because <laughs> because we need that. Right on. Yeah, we will. Take care guys. Okay, Harry, <laughs> thank you very much. My pleasure.